Welcome back to Save My Planet. Environmental research and education might not seem like the most exciting of topics, but at the Terambina Rainforest Center in Costa Rica, they may have a solution. They found a unique way to provide an incredible place for researchers from all over the world to study, while teaching locals and tourists about this delicate and beautiful ecosystem. How do they do it? With bats and with chocolate. I'm here with Carlos Chavarria at the Terambina Rainforest Center. Tell me, Carlos, what is Terambina? What do you guys do here? Terambina is a non for profit organization that is working on uh, conservation, research, and education. Mm. And what we are trying to do is to protect our rainforest reserve, working with the local communities. So this is why we decided to start working with tourism. So now tourism, it is the principal way how we are financing research and how we are financing education. So I understand you have a project with white bats. Tell me a little bit about that. It is one of the many research projects that we have here, and it's related in general with bats. Because when we think about bats, we are thinking about Dracula, vampires. <laughs> so what we are trying to do is to give the real importance from the bats. I'm here with Bernard Rodriguez. He is the director of research here at Terambina. Entonces, tu enfoque, en qué tipo y qué es la importancia? De las murciélagos. Bueno, en Costa Rica la mitad de las especies de mamíferos son murciélagos. Wow. Tenemos más de 100 especies de murciélagos. Wow, more than 100 species. It's half of the mammal species in Costa Rica are bats. That's pretty cool. Whoa! It's scary. Oh my goodness. Would he bite me? Yes. <laughs> so at night they'll catch many different species of bats. This is a great one to show to guests and to the people, the researchers here because it's really important for people to connect with the bats and realize that they're not this you know, awful and scary thing. A lot of places in Central America where the rainforest has been cut, the bats are the species that actually carry the seeds there mm -hmm. and reforest the, the large rainforest trees. Yes, so gratis. Wow, and it's free. Now that's a good deal. So you were saying that you study the white bats. Mm -hmm. See? Can we go see them? Sí, claro. All right, let's Vamos. go. Here we are in the rainforest, going to see the white bats. Vamos, Bernal. Think you found them. I see now why they call them white bats. They're white. Bueno, esta es la tienda. So this is their little tent. Almost all bat species, they find their homes just out in the forest with existing leaves or branches or caves. But um, the white bat is one of the only ones that actually creates and builds their home. There are some serious green builders. It's really beautiful that Terambina provides a place, um, you know, for people like Bernal to come and really focus and really study and then helps them with a platform to share that information. It's great to work with the communities and see how they start uh, thinking like the biodiversity is their own and they start getting benefits for the conservation. And those chocolate bars I saw in the gift shop, What's it going is, on? It is one of the programs that we have here to promote ecotourism. It is something that we call the chocolate tour. So here I am with Willie Aguilar, and he has the incredible job of being the chocolate man of Tirambina. The chocolate man, right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Where do I apply for the job? I'm sorry, man, that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. So I don't understand. People come here and take this chocolate tour. What's the point? So, well, actually, the point is that the chocolate has been in the forest for a long time. So we want actually to show that to people. Huh, so you find something that people really love, maybe then they'll really start protecting the rainforest. Exactly. That's the whole idea, that we are trying to, you know, improve the way how people would be able to cultivate such a product like that and then save the rainforest, too. It's a great way to get people motivated. So where do we start? I want to eat some chocolate. So we start right over here. Let's go. All right. Just to think, there's thousands of species of plants in the rainforest here, but they've figured out you could take the seeds of this and mash it up like this and make chocolate. So genius. Forget about your fancy cappuccino maker. I make jungle hot chocolate. Salud. By the way, this one was considered the, the drink of the gods. Mm. Only the most powerful people in a native group would be able to drink it. It's delicious. 
thanks so much. It's so great. I mean, this, this hot chocolate tastes delicious. And uh, it's not only delicious, but what an incredible way that um, Tarambina is bringing guests and local people here to really connect with their food and really learn about chocolate. And uh, what an incredible experience. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much, Willie. Thank you for coming. Salud. Quieres un poco? Yeah, sure. Thanks a lot. The work going on at Tarabina is just one small example of how people are finding creative ways to better understand and protect the places where they live. And a sweet incentive never hurt. Mm. I'm Stephen Brooks. See you next time. <laughs>